Hey everybody, welcome to another RWC Watches Retro Cinema. Today we're going to be taking a look at a movie uh, that I had never ever heard of before, but picked up at a Goodwill shop uh, for 50 cents, and that is Dementia 13. Uh, so, a couple little things about Dementia 13. Uh, it is from 1963. It's 75 minutes long. It is directed by Francis Ford Coppola. Uh, this is apparently his first legitimate uh, film as a director. Uh, apparently before this he did two skin flicks. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so this is his first. And another thing I didn't know about Francis Ford Coppola, he's from Detroit, Michigan. Didn't know that at all. Um, and uh, he also wrote it with uh, Jack Hill. Uh, the cast is William Campbell, Luna Anders, Bart Patton, Mary Mitchell, and Patrick McGee. I uh, got a few trivia things that I thought were really interesting about this movie. Um, first up, it was shot in nine days. Nine days on a $42,000 budget back in 1963. Uh, the director, Francis Ford Coppola, met his wife, Eleanor Coppola, during the making of this film. Uh, Francis Ford Coppola was assisting Roger Corman... Uh, on the set of The Young Racers in Ireland. And uh, Corman allowed Coppola to use the same set, crew, and actors, uh, them being Luna Anders, William Campbell, and Patrick McGee, for this film if he could shoot around the shooting schedule for Corman's film. Uh, so that's one way to keep a budget uh, pretty low. I thought that was pretty funny that uh, he would be working on one film and being like, uh, I'm gonna write this other film, and if you're cool with it, can I use the people you're using, and the sets you're using, and the crew you're using, uh, to film my film? Uh, so I thought that was pretty cool. Um, also another random thing, it's titled The Haunted and The Hunted in the UK, so it has a completely different film title in the UK. So I wonder if they have The Haunted and The Hunted on VHS in the UK. And if so, I'm going to have to hunt it down uh, if I end up liking this film, which I'm pretty sure um, I'm going to. On the back, it says, This gory but extremely clever and well-made Coppola horror film has a noble family inhabiting a picturesque Irish ca castle stalked by an axe murderer. So, can you really go wrong? I don't know. We'll find out. Let's start watching. Roll it. <laughs> Snack time. Three minutes in, and the script is already hilarious. I love it. Raised on promises. She wants you to listen to her, to watch for her signs, to try. What she wants, she'll tell you. I promise you. Oh, you crafty bitch.
Oh shit! Look out! Good night, Louise. <laughs> Bitch! Good night. Bitch, get out of there. Okay, so that was uh, Dementia 13. Uh, it was good. It was really good. I, I really enjoyed it. Um, in the beginning, there was more kind of humor mixed in with the fucked up did this. <laughs> uh, and that just got more pronounced uh, throughout the film. The fucked up did this, not the, not the humor. Um, it was really good. Again, um, about a, it was about a family who has had a lot of tragedy, uh, who lived in Ireland, but the kids kind of got away, um, moved to America and that kind of stuff. Um, the mother still lives in Ireland in the Holleran Castle, um, and seven years prior to the time in the film the daughter and sister died from drowning in the the pond in front of the castle and every year the family seems to get together and have a ceremony for the um for the for the daughter and sister uh three brothers uh, and, uh, one of them, no, two bro, three brothers, sorry, three brothers, one of them has a wife, one of them is, one of them is engaged, and one is single, so, uh, the, the wife gets wind of the mother's will, and how she plans on giving her money away to charity basically when she passes and she starts to construct this plan to work her way into the will and uh she doesn't last too long in the movie actually uh the first scene of the film uh which you saw a little clip of was her husband who is the middle son uh, and her rowing out I don't think into the pond I think it's just a lake um, and 
he died in like the first three minutes. Uh, he died of a heart attack from rowing, and she dumped his body and made this plan saying that he flew back to New York on business and that she would be staying there until uh, the, the mother felt she didn't need to stay anymore. Uh, so in that, she was trying to, like I said, work her way into the will because like the last thing her husband said was said to her was if i die you'll get nothing <laughs> so she's trying to stay in the family work her way into the will get money and then shit just goes south real quick um now when i introduced the film in the beginning I said, I read the back and I said it was gory. Um, for 1963, I imagine it was gory. Nowadays, uh, with, with the likes of Saw and um, Hostel, there wasn't much gore. But for 1963, that was pretty, that was pretty awesome. That was pretty, pretty good as far as the gore level goes. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to show the clip I, I recorded. Um, I think I might because I don't really feel the need to to stop talking about things and showing things on movies like this because if you didn't want it to be spoiled for you, you shouldn't watch this video and you had, I don't know, 45 years to watch this before uh, before I did my review on it. So, I mean, uh, yeah, I, I probably will show the clip. So you'll you'll see um, one of one of the deaths uh, that happened in the movie, or you already saw one of the deaths that happened in the movie. Um, it was solid. I really enjoyed it. There's a little twist at the end. Which is slightly predictable, only because there's been so many horror flicks that I've seen that have the same kind of twist in them. So, I'm, I'm not going to say it's not original uh, for this film, but I kind of I kind of had a, an inkling as to who done it. Um, but it was it was really good. I really really enjoyed it. Again, another movie I'll keep up on the shelf. Um, I won't be trading it in or selling it or anything like that. So. Uh, from me, I give it two thumbs up. Not that that means anything because I don't rate my films. I just say if I like it or not, but I really did enjoy it. And as always, the time on it was just perfect. Um, just enough time to get a good story going and then end it. No, uh, no real long, uh, commitment for this one. So 75 minutes, not bad. Really enjoyed it. Great film, uh, especially when you take into consideration the uh, the budget, the year, uh, you know, being a directorial debut kind of thing, and uh, all the ways that this film kind of came about. So, um, again, really enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one.